national security is the strategy developed by every nation state to protect its immediate, mid and long term interests. And national security entails protecting its citizens and its assets. And every country has a national security council and an office of the national security advisor. And this advisor and the council, what they do is they consult the different domains of a country. That is the economy, the finance, the ecology, the environment, then what is the criminal threat, what is the terrorist threat, whether the social media is used to spread fake news. So all these domains need to be protected. And securing those domains and advancing national interests is national security. So national security has to be handled by two sets of very bright people. In fact, I would say the most intelligent people of a nation should staff the National Security Council. And these are people in the Foreign Ministry, in the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Public Security. And I also want to share with you that no one should be appointed to those key positions unless that person has a certificate a diploma or a degree in national security. The worst thing a government can do is to appoint your friends and family to those key positions. Because if you do not have solid understanding of the international environment, then you will not be able to navigate in an arena of geopolitics, of geoeconomics and geostrategy. In Sri Lanka, there is a National Security Council that is the apex policy and decision-making body when it comes to homeland security and foreign relations. But unfortunately, the National Security Council did not sufficiently focus on the other dimensions of security such as ecology, environment, economics, finance. It is imperative to have a comprehensive national security policy. Also, in Sri Lanka, they did not have a national security council secretariat where there is a permanent research staff that will continuously research these vital domains and provide policy options for national security leaders to decide this is good, this is bad, and of course, for national security to be effective there must be a very strong intelligence community. Both national intelligence, military intelligence, naval intelligence, air intelligence. And based on those financial intelligence, based on those reports, government will have to make informed decisions how to better protect the people and the national interests. So there are some gaps, there are some loopholes, there are some weaknesses. These have to be fixed if a country wants to prosper, if a country wants to have social harmony, and if a country wants to move from the third world to the first world. If they don't do that, then the economy will crumble, then the social harmony will be in tatters, and the political stability will be compromised. So, national security is the art and the science of advancing and ensuring that there is social harmony, political stability and economic prosperity.